Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to the Crystal Beauty Show. Today our guest is Hollywood actor, writer and producer Jim Pettit. He's the co-creator of Family Tree, so you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. There's been a death in the family, but um, good news is she's left us all a little something. Oh, that's great. Exciting. I mean, sad that she's dead, well, but that's yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is all yours. Totally makes sense to me. I've always had kind of a military air about me. Ah, Jesus! Why are we doing this? To find out, you know, our past. Could we be related? I don't think so. I hope not. I've been using this website about ancestry. I trace my family to California. LA, baby! Si casa, say mi casa. Our house is your house in Espanol. What are you, the traffic leprechaun or something? You just call me a leprechaun? Yes, I did. I called okay. you a leprechaun. I'm twice the height of a leprechaun. Side of the face, now silent movie acting. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. It's fantastic. I want answers. I want the truth. Tongue and teeth are okay, but the rest is your family of freaks. <clears throat> well, I have a vestigial tail. Oh. This is a toothbrush with a book of instructions. Oh, I uh, see what you, <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for granting us this interview. I understand you're in London actually shooting a movie right now. So I appreciate, you know, you giving us your time. So tell us, you're an actor, a producer, a writer. Is that something you always wanted to do? Uh, the acting was something I always wanted to do from a pretty young age. Uh, the writing I, I, I kind of grew into and the producing came as a result of the other two. So, yeah. We talk about producing. Actually, a lot of people don't know what that entails. We just see the name on the credit list that this was a producer, but we don't understand what that is about. So can you tell us a little bit about what your role as a producer is? Well, it's very different in film and television. In, in television, the writer-producer is the creator of the show, and you end up really being the kind of top of the food chain. So you have to make every decision um, all the way along the line, and you are the boss. In being given that credit when I've, it's been a story I've created or something I've kind of set up but not actually written. Uh, and then once it's shooting, your job is basically over. I mean, I, I went to the set of uh, Tooth Fairy, which was I was executive producing and, and I wrote the story for it. And someone said, what's your job? And I said, executive producer. And that, they said, what does that mean you do? And I said, well, right now it means I'm here for two days just telling everybody I'm the executive producer and then I go home. And my job's done. You are the co-creator of Family Tree. Can you tell us a little bit more about what that show is about? Yeah, it's a show about a young man trying to find his, uh, his genealogical history. So he's searching for his family tree. Uh, he's a young guy who's got no relationship. He's unemployed. Uh, he doesn't quite know where he fits in in the world. He doesn't have close family ties. And so it's really everybody's search to find out who they are, uh, what their place is in the world, and what their kind of place in the long chain of history is. So it's kind of universal in the sense that all of us do that at some stage in our life. Why did you decide to do it as a TV show instead of a film? Well, because a family tree, by its nature, has lots of branches and roots. Uh, it's not a singular story. It can go anywhere, and it's ongoing. It never has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So the three-act structure or four-act structure of a film wouldn't have worked. So that what we loved was that we could delve into different worlds each week, introduce new characters, and have the same core group of people going through it. What was your inspiration for this project? Well, uh, the, 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 the catalyst was that Christopher Guest was looking into his family tree at the time, and uh, we both liked the idea of himself and, and, and an impressionable guy, so that everything he finds out, he immediately assumes is him. Uh, and that, to us, was an amusing idea. Um, so, so that's really where the idea started. And then we just played around with the idea, and it grew from there. How was your experience working on both sides of the camera? Uh, I had to basically stop producing for two days to prepare for the acting because it was just it's a very different mm -hmm. you know, mindset. Um, so I, I kind of took myself out of my producing duties for a couple of days and then shot and then was back again you know, running the show with Chris and Karen. How was the casting process? 
well, different for each actor. Some actors we knew right away were going to be in the show, and we wrote for them. Uh, some people Chris just met and talked to, and others we saw audition tapes. My audiences are actually mostly Africans, and mm -hmm. especially the Africans in the U.S. So most, uh, some of them do watch the show, and for those of them who are maybe interested in acting or being, you know, a part of a TV show, what advice would you give them, or how can they become a part of it? A part of this TV show, or just just a part in general? Of... In general, how is? In general, I mean, the same thing I say to all young actors is do it. Go out there and do it. You, you, you can't, there's no substitute for doing it. You can't really, you, if you can go to a drama school, great, but um, just get out there, get experience. And, and stage training is the best training there is. If you want a long career, if you just want to be famous, um, you know, you're probably better off doing something else. Talking about a family tree, it's actually comedy. It, was that done on purpose, or do, does that help tell the story in a certain way other than drama? Do, yeah, absolutely. Get yeah. That we, we, Chris and I have always done comedies. All our films are comedies. Um, there is, you know, a drama version of this called Who Do You Think You Are? It's a reality show. Uh, it, was, uh, it was the whole intent. Is there going to be a season two for this Sure. Well, we're not we're not sure yet. There's a lot of kind of talk going on. Um, <clears throat> so it's a complicated deal because we're three different people who put the project together, two, three different companies. So um, we'd love to do another show, uh, another season, and um, uh, we have a very very solid fan base that would desperately love to see another season. So hopefully we will, but uh, I can't tell you one way or another, I'm afraid, right now. Generally speaking, apart from the show and your acting and producing, what else do you do with your spare time? Wow. Uh, I don't have an awful lot of spare time, to be honest. Um, but I'm a, I'm a football fanatic, soccer, that is. Uh, I, play, I still play every week, and I watch, and I'm involved with a, a soccer team here in England. Um, so I, 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 that's my big passion, and I love baseball. I also watch a lot of baseball. Being in the entertainment industry, sometimes it could be stressful, you know, especially being on TV. That's, How do you cope with it? That's my stress. My de-stressor is watching sport or playing sport. Okay, so watching sports or playing sport. Okay, nice. So what's your favorite team? Uh, well, Crystal Palace, in, in, in my football team in London, Crystal Palace, uh, and uh, the LA Galaxy I like, I watch a lot, and baseball, it's the Oakland A's. Thank you so much for granting us this interview. Do you have any last words for our viewers? Thank you. No, uh, the D um, it, it, it's a delightful show, I think. If you stay with it, um, you won't be disappointed. It's very subtle, it's, uh, it's engaging, and it's quite touching. And, and I think if you like smart comedy, um, if, if you enjoy seeing layered, smart comedy, you will love the show. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Bye now. Bye. Thank you all for watching. As usual, leave your comments, like a Facebook page, follow us on Twitter. And until next time, this is Crystal saying bye-bye.